Hey guys, what's going on? This is Yuri Marcus, and today I have got another wonderful weapon for you guys. The sniper rifle called the FRF2, kindly gifted to me by um, Red X Faction, also known as Google JSE. So thank you very much, dude. That's awesome. Alright, so first thing I want to say about this, uh, wait, um, I'm going to do a shoutouts video. After I finished all the guns that he gifted me, he gifted me, like, a shitload, and I... <laughs> thank you so much, man, because, like, I haven't really been active in Comet Arms. So even, like, those GP weapons that you gave me, really awesome, especially since this uh, FRF2 is an NX weapon. And thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get into this review. First of all, the sniper rifle is a lot like the M200. Like, this, the scope just makes me think of the M200 so much because that was the first gun into introduced to Comet Arms that had this type of M200, uh, this type of scope, which I now call it the M200 scope, and it's also on the ZVI, uh, the ZVI Falcon, is that it? I think so. It's the one with, uh, two bullets that I think is really bad, but this one's actually pretty decent. The thing I have to say the best about it is it doesn't, like, it tanks a one or two times in this game, and I, it has tanked before for me. But the thing I really like about it is it's ten bullets without ten bullets without um doing ten bullets without d um the extended magazine. So that's really nice, and the reload time is same as all the other ones, and I I think it's really good. And it's just it's one v one. I mean not one v ones. Um, one man army is so good because you. You pretty much reload as much as you would, like, say, a semi, because, like, I know the SR-25 Sandfire or something like that has 10 bullets. So, yeah, this is a really, really top-of-the-line gun, and I really uh, think you should give it a try. 10 bullets. Awesome. And that's without Extended Magazine, as I said before. Alright, so... The FRF2, um, the scope kind of throws you off, but it's the place where it is is actually ex like dead on where um, the triangle thing, the t the tip of the triangle, that's where it intersects. The accuracy is not that bad, but it does have spread, so you're gonna wanna like its spread is a little bit, a little bit more than most other guns, but it does have really good no scoping cap capabilities. I got a lot of no scopes in this game. And I'm pretty happy for it. And this is a one-man army, snipers only. So um, I just know that a lot of people get snipers for qu uh, quick scoping, like in one-man army stuff, as well as that hard scope, which I will show you guys in a in the roadkill game next. All right. So the the FRF2, um, I checked on Nexon, and they actually don't have any stats on it. Um, but I am. It's actually really strange. It's in a kind of like if you look in the arsenal, it's not in like the it's not in the actual list. If you look under sniper rifles, you have to actually either go back because this it's like one of those um strange ones. Like you need to Google FRF2 Comet Arms if you don't believe me or anything, and then you just have to um look in. Um, an unlike listed page, so yeah. So the FRF2 ten bullets really nice, and I'm it has thirty bullets in reserve, which is also really nice. So this is actually really weird. All right, here we go. FRF2 can be bought for thirty days for six point five KNX. 90 days for 11.9k NX and permanent for 29.9k NX. I'm not sure if you can do that anymore, but I hope so. And for one day, it's 900 NX, which is what uh, he gave to me, which is awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so the FRF2 has a damage point rating of 100, portability 46, rate of fire 16, accuracy 98, and recoil 65. It is a bolt action sniper rifle. So I do think that this is really good, and uh, I really think that you should guys should give it a try. And I actually don't play this roadkill game out to the end. I don't play either game out to the end because I really don't have that much time. But uh, just looking at the shots that I'm making here, I really like the accuracy. Much better than the L9, better than the um, M107 CQ. And it does have this, I think it has the same magnification as the L11 5A3, except with a different scope. 
uh, type look, re reticle look, which is really nice. So I'm just like raving face in this beginning part. And then they actually rage quit, I think, because, uh, I don't know. So there's only two people left at the end, and it's really, really wasn't uh, any point going on. But I really think that if you're going to be using the sniper rifle in one-man army, I don't recommend you to put on steady aim, just because you need that stamina in order to uh, sprint away to get away from the enemy and all that kind of fun jazz. And I do recommend um, in roadkill, I use uh, steady aim because uh, I'm usually not going to be in too many close quarters situations and I really like it. And uh, it's just really good. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And thank you very much to Google JSE. Thank you so much uh, for this weapon. Now, he also gifted me a couple other items, but the next weapon that I will be reviewing is the Thompson, and that's made from the uh, UMP, which he gifted to me for one day. Thank you very much, and uh, tell me what you think about the Thompson for a chance to be in the next review. It is a forgeable weapon. You need seven forge pallets and the UMP. I had the UMP LE, which is the permanent version, and you can't forge it, which sucks. I really wish that you could make a f permanent forge weapon like that, but oh well, whatever. I guess the Thompson is uh, just just some pointers. It's got 50 rounds, which is really nice. 50 rounds, and it looks a lot like the Thompson from Black Ops and uh, Call of Duty World at War. So I'm just going to let you guys listen to how the gun sounds uh, for this finishing up part. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day. See ya. Round start.